Church Tech Weekly presents Infocom 2013, brought to you by Bose Professional Systems, committed to developing best-in-class products, tools, and services to create original audio experiences. All right, well, continuing our Infocom 2013 coverage, and we've swung over to the Digital Audio Labs booth, and uh, they've got kind of a cool product here. We've been seeing it on uh, press releases and in the, some of the trade magazines and that, a, a new personal monitor system, and there are tons of personal monitor systems out there, but this one's got some unique features to it that I think you're going to want to know about. It's called the Live Mix, and I'm here with Greg Hill, and Greg is going to walk us through some of the key features of this system. So, Greg, what do we have here? Well. You know, this is our live mix system that was kind of developed out of uh, all the people at Digital Audio Labs being in bands and, you know, having issues with the way our monitors sounded. Because really musicians are, you know, they're inspired by good sound. So when it doesn't sound good, you don't feel confident, you don't play well. So this sort of was birthed out of that. So we thought, okay, well, what are the things that we need that, that they don't do right now? And, 24 channels was one that was to me a practical minimum really you know by the time you mic drums and you know all the parts do some stereo channels right exactly yeah. you know you're easily into the to 20 channels or whatever with any kind of band yeah, yeah. Uh, we're able to do DSP control of EQ compression and reverb on every channel which I think is very important although the way our our mix engine works it's global so if I change the compression on my bass that's what everybody hears and it's kind of our was our choice uh, you also have compression EQ and reverb on the overall mix just for you we uh, we have the me channel which uh, everybody wants more me and it allows you to define a group of channels and then control them with just one knob or even a foot we have a foot switch because I'm a guitar player so it, it, I don't want to I don't want to do this I can't do this while I'm playing yeah, yeah. or if you're a singer you can do you can play all you want yeah. so, so if you're a, you're a singer and a guitar player you could have all that assigned to that one more me knob exactly right and with the foot switch you can control any two functions that you want you can go in here and assign any function to foot switch, foot switch control so I think that's that's good. Another thing I, I find really interesting uh, for me using in ears as a I don't know it separates you from the you know the whole vibe of being on stage. And we wanted to have ambient mics, so it has ambient mics front and back. Okay. Then we thought, well, we have ambient mics on there. We could make it an intercom too. So we also have an intercom. So if you if you press the you know the A B button, you can talk to the band. We have uh, a metronome. An aux in that that are that don't take away these channels don't take away from your 24. So you're not using part of your 24 to do those functions either. Oh, you know that's, that's great. So you don't burn a channel or just run a click. Exactly. You can run a click track right off of the machine. You know there's one right in here. So we're uh, you know we're really happy about that part. Yeah. It's got an another thing I find people really interested in. You know we just sort of thought oh well we can have it record. Let's have it record to uh, a USB stick, because you know everybody wants to know how did we do, how did it really sound. I, you know, I find a lot of bands they have no idea. You know, because I run front, front of house a lot, they have no idea how they really sound. And there's something about listening live where you 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 perceive music in a different way that it seems better than it is. It sounded great when you were there, but if you actually record it and listen later, a lot of times you hear things that you're like, wow, I, I can't believe how flat I was there, or I missed that chord, or things just go by. So the, the, I think the recording functions. Yeah. That's a great feature. So now let's talk about the components of the system, because I'm sure you have an input module somewhere, and then yes. you've got the, the, the two channel or the two mixes module, and then some distribution. So how does that all work? Well, we have an analog input box that has, if you're for a techies, TRS and DB25 inputs, yep. and also a DB25 out for up to eight wireless transmitters. Okay. Then, so these will actually transmit the mix back to that input box. Yes. So I don't have to deal with snaking extra cables out of here to exactly. go back there. Right. That's a great feature. Yeah. I'm glad you like it. 
Uh, then you go from the input box with one Ethernet cable to the brain, uh, the MIX-16. We have a MIX-32, which also has double the number of outputs. So we can have a, a system up to 16 of these boxes. So 32 full 24-channel mixes on one system. Uh, and then, of course, each individual mixing station can do two mixes. We, we have a plan for the, what we're calling the UNO, so if we can stick one in for the drummer who's, unless he's got a split personality, he yeah. only needs one. So uh, then for pricing, this input box, the brain, and four of these is going to have a street price of $38.99, which we think is... That's pretty aggressive. So for eight, eight mixes, really, yeah. under $4,000. Yeah. That's, uh, I, I think it's a kind of a class beater. I, you know, yeah. it were as, as cheap as you could go almost, really. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, kind of our, our forte, I guess you'd say, was making a, a kind of a high-end product at a, you know, a middle-of-the-road price. Because it's also got, you know, if you're a geeky guy, it's got a discrete headphone app, a real high-power discrete headphone app. It will, it will drive triple driver in-ears loud yeah. with live bass. Okay. You know, that was one of the things I first worked on was, you know, getting that amplifier to where, you know, you send a, 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 a raw bass signal to most headphone amplifiers very loud. They, they just die, you know. Yeah. So it, it also really, it really sounds great, you know. So uh, availability on this stuff, is it shipping now? It's not shipping yet, but uh, September, October, we're saying third quarter, but you know, yeah. October is fourth quarter, I guess, but. Cool, now if people want to learn more, uh, assuming you guys have a website where they can go find all about it. Absolutely, digitalaudio.com. Uh, it's uh, gonna have everything you want to know and then some. Okay. We're also on uh, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. uh, all of those things that I'm never on, but. Awesome. Well, this is a great looking product, and I love uh, some of the features you guys have put in this thing. The ability just to send back to the rack your mixes for in ears is a is a really nice feature. Uh, that's we're always trying to figure out a better way to do that. So, digitalaudio.com is the website. So you want to take a look at these guys, the live mix system. Uh, if you're looking for an in ear system, 24 channels, great price. So uh, I think it's worth taking a look at. Thanks, Greg.